Good evening, everyone. This is John Locke from Locking Your Success, and this is the Locking Your Success Trade and Position Update for November 24th, 2013. Before we get going, I'd like to remind you that the presentation is for educational purposes only. We're not broker-dealers or financial advisors, and we're not making any specific trade recommendations. Also, the risk in trading options can be substantial, so please be aware of all your risks prior to placing any trades. And last but not least, the trades and or results covered in this presentation may or may not be live trades. In the event anything is computer simulated, we do the best we possibly can to make sure that it is accurately represented as possible. If you're watching this on YouTube or SMB, please come over to our trading blog at LockingYourSuccess.com and join our mailing list. All right, let's take a look at the Russell 2000 first. If you remember last week, we were thinking the market would be down a little bit further than it is. However, the bulls did come in and they bought the market back up, brought us back up to our resistance level. If we look at the S&P and the Dow, uh, the Dow broke out higher over its previous highs, so its uptrend is continuing. This chart basically says the market is, uh, is all set to break out and go higher. The SPX also broke out from its highs and implies that the market's going higher. And the NASDAQ came right up and is at its resistance level. And as far as if we come back to the Russell, this came right up and pretty much stalled at its resistance level. So what we have here is we have two indices implying we're going higher. We have two implying we're going lower, which means we really don't know which way the market's going. My gut kind of tells me that we are going to see a, another retracement before we come up to this level up here around 1150 for the close. Well, I may be wrong on that. If I am, I would call the high of this rally up around 1162, and then we'd be back and down into this range again, just as we've done here. So that would, that would run up here and then run sideways and then come back down. I don't think the market's going to be that strong. We have some longer-term targets that I have here that are, that are uh, topping us out around 1135. I'm thinking we more get, if we, if we continue to go up here, we get something more like this month here where we didn't hit this target. We only went um, about halfway in between. So that would put us, in other words, we, instead of, in other words, I have a target up here from this consolidation pattern. If uh, we do what happened the last time, what would happen is we'd make it about halfway up the consolidation pattern and then consolidate sideways here. So that's certainly a possibility. I really don't think we're seeing 1160. Five, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. The market may surprise us and do that. We know that December is typically a bullish month. I don't think it's going to be as bullish as it usually is, but I don't think we're going to really drop out either. So that's uh, more or less what I'm expecting for the markets. The same thing here. The Dow, if that happens, may continue to push a little bit higher, but eventually set, settle back in here somewhere. And the SPX, again, pushing higher and settling back. I still uh, like this target. And as far as the NASDAQ goes, we'll have to see. If the NASDAQ and Russell really break out and they hold tomorrow, the futures are up right now. If uh, And I wouldn't be surprised if they gap up in the morning and then sell right off. But if they gap up and hold for one or two days this week, then that's just going to imply we're going to go higher. But for right now, I'm keeping my opinions of where we were last week. As far as the positions goes, we really don't have a whole lot to talk about. We have our December M3 which we put on on the 15th. This trade has had no adjustments. It's uh, The market came down, the market bounced, and here we sit. We're up a couple hundred dollars, and everything is fine. We are starting to push outside the 10 a little bit. Realistically, if we're up another day, this will get adjusted early next week. But for right now, everything is fine. If we take a look at our December bearish butterfly, this is currently has a $1,840 gain. We have a delta of minus 239 and a theta of 195, which is within our parameters. Although I do not like the delta number this high on a single contract, our maximum limit is minus 250 in this particular trade. So if it pushes up a little bit higher, we'll be rolling this forward. But for right now, this is where it sits. If we take a look at our December V Condor, this has had no adjustments either. Here is what our current position looks like. 
and we are pushing up into this wing here. If the market continues to creep, then we'll be climbing up into this range, and that will be good for us. If the market stays down here or settles in here for a few more days or backs off, we will start widening this straddle out so that we can bring up this expiration line and possibly make a little bit more money this month. I like to make at least 3000 on these, so that should be pretty easy as long as the market's anywhere is near reasonable, which I think it will be. Let's jump out to the January trades. If you remember, we put this VCON over on a week or so ago, let's see, on the 15th. And this position is up slightly. Our delta numbers are perfectly fine. Here's what the position looks like now. Again, we'd like the market to continue to creep up for this position and end up in here somewhere, as long as it creeps at a fairly uh, slow pace, which I would expect. Um, if the market wants to swing around in here, then we're going to have to raise this V once again. So that's a V corner for January. We put on a January bearish butterfly on Friday, 56 days to expiration as expected. And this is what the position looks like. I entered at the 1100 short strikes. Our delta theta ratio is not great, but uh, it's to be expected with a grinding up market and the low volatility. And here is what we look like on entry. And last but not least is to look at our December rock trade entry. And here is our December rock trade entry. The market was at 11.24. I came in with 10, 11, 10 put butterflies. And I wasn't able to add five. I could really only add three and keep myself happy with my delta number. I didn't want to go any more than that in case the market backs off on Monday. And I had three 1050, I'm sorry, 1150 butterflies puts us at minus 38 delta where we sit. And if you look at our delta 20 points over, it's exactly, uh, let's see, it's going to be exactly 183. So this trade is all set up. And I, I really like this as long as the market this month, as long as the market doesn't come down hard. If it comes down hard, it's going to kick us back. But if, uh, if, it, if we do end up having a grinding, which I'm not expecting it to do, but if we do have this grinding up month, then we could pretty hold pretty easily to 1160. I really wouldn't expect the market to go past that this month. So this is looking nice. All right, that's all I have for now. I hope everybody has a wonderful Thanksgiving. Remember, the market obviously is closed on Thanksgiving, and we also have a half a day market on Friday. And don't get lackadaisical on Friday. The uh, last couple of years, Friday's had a pretty good move the Friday after Thanksgiving, even though it's only half a day and nobody's supposed to be around. So just keep your eye on that. And other than that, have a great week, and we'll talk to you next week. Thank you and good night.